much love. And I know everybody doing great because you alive and breathing and you back to fight another day. And let's get to those honors to honor thy ancestors. Honor my father, may he rest in peace and in power. I honor my mom, but she's still alive and vibrant. And I honor you all for coming in to another EBX discussion. And that's my brothers and sisters, soldiers and soldierettes. Salute, friends, family, anyone deemed to open up that pineal gland and get that spirit educated. And I have to say, you know, when you study the art of observation, you, you begin to understand a lot of things within yourself, the world, things around you, everything. Things begin to get real. And those with, with a high vibration know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's why I stand here today and salute and stand tall. I love thy brother. I love thy sister. Love thy friend family because we have to learn like I always say to look at the bigger picture in this world and not just get stopped and stagnant by social media and all the little distractions and all the little stupid shit that we flock to we need to cut that shit out stop flocking the bandwagons that's my pet peeve I hate bandwagons but I love thy brother and thy sister and anyone that's reaching good righteous goals and that's anyone in my family friends outside of my family that's why i always honor my ancestors i will never disrespect elders or ancestors or anyone that's reaching and teaching and looking for righteousness within themselves and in others and that's what brought me to this conclusion one appreciate content creators i'll say that again one has great appreciation for content creators. We have to learn to love through the process. Yes, there's gonna be obstacles. There's gonna be challenges. There's gonna be emotions that we battle with, we fight with. But when we've practiced this and we've studied on controlling our emotions and watching our impulses, something you will always hear me talk about. So. Anybody that listened to a podcast or one of my videos, you're always going to hear me talk about impulses and instincts. Because, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record. But, again, for my brothers, sisters, friends, family, it will save you a lot of heartache. So, study in those areas, like I said. Impulses, uh, watching our emotions, controlling our emotions, instincts. Learn to step back before we react. And you will have a smooth life. Because if you're not pure within, as pure as we can possibly be, brothers, sisters, friends, family, it will consume us and what we deny on the inside of us will eventually come out. So that's why we have to be authentic within ourselves. Not just because it sounds good or trying to be intelligent. No. When you, but when you reach that truth, you will live that life unless you just not looking to live that life. That's why one has to keep appreciation within, even through the tough times or we think it's tough, you know, quotations. There are challenging times, our down times. We keep that appreciation because it's good for the psyche and it's good for the soul. And the creator, when, you know, the great creator gives us all, gifts knowledge talents those that are receiving and and listening to that higher power those of out here that are using our gifts in the right way using our powers for good we see the good within ourselves and in others when we take in time and invest in those kind of spirits and i do ladies and gentlemen and and i i made a video in a podcast, I did a song and I did a podcast. And I entitled it, Be a Curse Breaker. And I'm telling you, I'm not the most perfect dude. You know, and I'm not just talking about social media. I'm talking about in the world, the whole world. Because I'm on another level. And I'm going to take and I'm going to help and join in with the rest of our soldiers and soldiers. Salute 
our unapologetic brothers and sisters out here that's reaching and teaching. We have to keep that good energy. We have to get past the subscriptions and, and views. It's getting to that point. I can see it. And when you true and genuine and real from the heart, and this is anyone, brother, sister, friend, family, that truth will bleed through. And one thing I've noticed about that divine high power, you can't rush it. You know, it takes time. Everything's happen accordingly. Everything happens according to the law of attraction. We have to just be loving within ourselves and show love to others and just appreciate and love through the process and enjoy the journey and stop looking at the superficial things that can put us in a mental prison. And that's something I want to talk on. You don't have to go too far or commit any crimes to be in prison. You can be prison, right? You can be in prison right where you are. And that's that's why I always talk about impulses. Because those, again, I've said this before, that was the most hardest, toughest battle of my life to overcome impulses and learning how to study behavior within myself and in others. And that will surely keep a lot of us from being in that mental prison. Because I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's the worst place you could ever be. And the worst prison you could ever be in is when you locked into the prison of your mind and you don't take the time to study and, and read and receive and disagree to agree and work on our little inner feelings that we have. Those unwanted things I always talk about and just learn to appreciate and just keep loving through the process, my brothers and sisters, and your goals will will come to pass but hate and being anxious and keeping ourselves in a rat race that's exactly what we'll be in a rat race just enjoy the journey we only live one life ladies and gentlemen so don't get wrapped up in the views and you know enjoy the good things about social media it's a lot of powerful brothers a lot of powerful teachers out here and not everybody fake but if you're fake within that's when you that's what you'll attract and i've said this before and I, I'll, I'll keep saying this i'm gonna push this curse breaker curse breaker let's break that curse within what, what wherever that curse is in you know within the black community social media and let's keep this this spiritual momentum strong and deep deep consciousness real true genuine spirit within letting no distractions stop us as long as we stay within our power we'll know who's who because but but we have to be true and we have to be aggressive with our higher power higher power because the higher power the great creator mother nature the universe it's not no soft thing it can be very aggressive you know mother nature the great creator can wipe us all off the planet and, and wipe all this shit away and clean it all and have a clean slate and start all over again. That's why we have to have appreciation for one another because we are all the great creators, mother nature, universe, children. And that's why we have to get along with one another and we have to show love to one another. And those that do have self hate, let them implode, let them expose themselves. Let them put themselves off to the side. We don't have to put them there. They put themselves there because that goes back to that mental prison. And that's why I'm begging you, those that are, are struggling, if you're feeling any bad thoughts within you, stop it, deal with it. If you, if you are trying to reach that righteousness and you do want to reach others and want all, all of us to grow, but just make maybe make a little mistakes sometimes. If you're true within, go back. Fix that mistake and, and pick yourself back up and keep it moving. Because we need soldiers and soldierettes. Salute, salute, salute out here. Real talk. My voice went up an octave. <laughs> but yeah, real talk. One, that's what keeps me motivated. That's why I stay positive. Because being positive is more than just being positive. It's an energy. You know, we have to think about our chakras. We have to be careful 
what we let, you know, entertain our chakras, you know, and I've heard this from my brother on a, on a, a content, one of a, one of a great content creator I listened to uh, last night and, and he's right. We have to be very careful about what, how we entertain our chakras, what we watch, what we listen to. It is very important and what we eat. And I learned this from another great brother. And this is the area I have to work on my diet because how we eat our diet does ha does have a lot to do with our thought process and our bodies. Now, that just can't not be denied because I've experienced this because, you know, it's a lot of areas that I have to work on, you know, in my life. And just like other brothers and sisters, we all have little areas that we have to work on. And that's why when I hear different viewpoints from different brothers or different sisters, I don't get, you know, this uncomfortable or I just say, OK, I need to work in that area. I don't you know why I ain't just because he said that I ain't doing that. No, you have to take each other's viewpoints and because everybody got something that the other individual don't have. And this is in life, in the world, you know, in our gifts, when we're interacting, just in anything in general. There's always a sister that has something another sister don't have. There's always a brother that don't have something another brother has. And that's why the great creator, you, the universe, wants those with a high vibration and mean well, want us to vi vibrate with love. You know, with a little, you know, uh, conversation and, you know, a good, meaningful conversation and you know, agree on some things, disagree on some things. Those are the best kind of conversations to have when no one's defensive and no one's feeling some kind of way. But in order to keep this from happening, to keep from being in that mental prison, I say this and many of us teachers say this, we have to study ourselves on the regular because we have to watch those feelings sometimes we don't know we have inside of us. That's when it comes to meditating because it, it meditating it's very, very serious. And I mean this because it keeps you in tune with your conscience. It keeps you from doing the wrong thing. It helps you to deflect unwanted feelings and thoughts that come into our body. We should always try our best to be logical when it comes to our chakras. It's very important. And always look for the positive in every negative. Every negative, there's always some positive. It just depends on the individual and depends on how you perceive things. Because we're not going to please everything, place, or person. And if we can keep that in our spirit, that will keep us humble. Not soft, not letting things, people, places, or things run over us, but overstanding things. And that's being a solid, strong individual. And that's for my brothers, my sisters, Soldiers, soldierettes, loot, friends, family, because this is a broader picture. And I know we all have our own little, you know, our own little platforms and our own little things. But in a way, we are all still vibing together because the true righteous ones out there, the real ones, I can feel that energy because even though I don't comment, you know, on a lot of videos and I do because I listen, I'm a, I've learned to be a receiver. Because I've said this on another podcast. We cannot get to a point where we think we know everything. Because that's when we have literally stopped our journey. So we have to keep that pineal gland open. My brothers and sisters. No matter what. Things, things are going to distract us sometimes. Or try to distract us. But you, when you stay within your spirituality. Your power. And learn to appreciate those with that same mindset. We would, be, we would be the kings and the queens that we're reaching for, the soldiers and soldierettes. Salute. So again, I say, I appreciate all content creators because we have to learn to appreciate one another and love each other through the process because we don't know what each one is going through in each other's lives. We, we have no idea. And so that's how we have to, that's why we have to learn to appreciate one another and wait on that creator. The creator is with all of us, that great creator, the universe, mother nature. Cause I always say it's a way bigger, broader world and a better world. 
than just you know being stupid and and idiotic and and being a hater and all that old stupid shit man it's 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 too much going on in this world you know we we've overcame now we gotta maintain so let's just love each other through the process the best way we can and i say again ebs cares the curse breaker i appreciate all content creators keep doing what you do and i'm going to be one of those brothers that's not going to be like like others i'm not going to be like like other people that's seeking attention and doing anything to get it no i'm going to stay true no matter what i'm not going to love all my brothers and my sisters my family my children my children's mothers friends teachers all over the world i'm going to always appreciate those that are trying to make a better way for themselves and all of us i appreciate you because i'm trying to do the same thing so may whoever came in thank you for coming in to another ebs discussion to all of you all over the world family brothers children mothers teachers may you have peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now one